tie for Valentine's Day and this is going to be so much fun and I will have the instructions on the internet as far as how long it should be. I'm using the Chic Sheep, the Red Heart Chic Sheep and I'm using the lipstick but wouldn't it be fun to make it for for ladies like with the dragon fruit or with uh, the sangria now I'm making one for my son with uh, the chic sheep number the platinum this is going to be very very pretty so this is what you want to do this stitch is called rose hip and I'm using size 8 knitting needles this is a number 4 knitting yarn and the, the stitch is a multiple of 4 plus 3 now you do want to cast on your stitches like so you want to make your let me get this a little bit closer you want to make your slip knot and let's get things out of here so they don't distract and you want to go and knit that first one bring your yarn out and pick up that stitch from the bottom to the top of your right hand needle so let's do that again but you're going to pick up the whole stitch see you're going to pick up the whole loop pick up bring your yarn to the front and cast on from the bottom to the top again you go in there pick up the whole loop and you're going to bring your yarn to the front and cast on from the bottom to the top of your right hand needle once more you go in and pick up the whole loop knit it bring your yarn to the front and pick up from the bottom to the top so I cast it on 15 stitches and make believe that I just cast it on my stitches and from row 1 this is what you're going to do you are going to I cast it on 15 because that's how wide I want my tie to be so I am going to go and do one, two, three knits and then the next stitch I pass as if to purl. One, two, three knits and pass the next one without knitting as if to purl one two three and pass the next one as if to purl and one two three now the way back of this row which is row number two you're going to knit three one two three now you're going to bring your yarn to the front of your work and you're going to pass that one that you passed on the other row pass it as if to purl without knitting it but your yarn is in front now you go put your yarn in the back and do three one two three knits again put your yarn in the front and pass the next one as if to purl put your yarn in the back knit three one two three and again you bring your yarn to the front and pass that one as if to purl and knit three one two three okay next row you want to knit 
because you want it alternated. You see, you're alternating your stitches. So on this one, you are going to knit one, and then the next one, you're going to pass as if to purl. And then three, one, two, three, and pass the next one as if to purl. Knit three, one, two, three, and pass the next one as if to purl. Knit three, one, two, three, and pass the next one as if to purl. There we go. We don't want to bring the yarn to the front and knit the last one. Okay. So now, row number four, we are going to knit one. Now we bring your yarn to the front and pass that one as if to purl. Knit three, one, two, three, bring your yarn to the front and pass that one as if to purl. Knit three, one, two, three and pass the next one as if to purl. Knit three, one, two, three, and pass that one as if to purl, and then knit the last one. Okay, so those four rows make this stitch, and it's very, very pretty. Look how nice that looks, a lot of texture. And the sides are nice because they don't curl in because of the nature of the stitch. When you do knits and purls, they don't curl. I'm almost done with my 21 inches that I need for the wider part of the tie. And I'm going to repeat these four rows again. One, two, three knits. Pass the next one as if to purl. One, two, Three, pass as if to purl. One, two, three, pass as if to purl. One, two, three. Row number two is knit three. One, two, three. Bring your yarn to the front and pass as if to purl. One, two, three, yarn to the front, pass as if to purl, yarn to the back. One, two, three, knits. Bring your yarn to the front and pass as if to purl, and knit the last three. Row number three is knit one because you want them alternated. The first row is knit three, this is knit one and then pass as if to purl. One, two, three knits and pass as if to purl. One, two, three knits and pass as if to purl. One, two, Three knits and pass as if to purl and knit the last one. And row number four is knit one. Bring your yarn to the front and pass as if to purl. Yarn to the back and knit three. Bring your yarn to the back, front, pass. One, two, Three knits, yarn to the front, pass, yarn to the back, knit three, one, two, three, yarn to the front, pass, yarn to the back, and knit the last one. So now we're going to start taking off four stitches, two on each side, so that we can start narrowing the tie. What I want to do now is to only knit on both sides, but I need to take off about three stitches on each side because the back is supposed to be narrower. 
So what I I am going to knit one and then I am going to knit two stitches together and I will continue knitting until I have three stitches left. And I have three left. I am going to knit those two together and knit the last one. Okay, so on the way back I want to only knit the whole row. Now on the front of my tie I am going to knit two together again so I will knit this one and then knit these two stitches together and then knit until I have three left So let's see, I have three left, knit these two stitches together, knit the last one, and then on the way back, you knit the whole way, And then on the next row, you want to, let's see, my needles are going all over the place. On the next row, you want to do that again. Knit one, knit two stitches together, and then knit until you have three left. And then knit two stitches together. and then knit the last one and then on the way back you want to knit that row and that's it let's see how many stitches I have now I think I have nine but let's see two, four, six, eight, nine. So wonderful. This would be about this much in the back and and we'll put something on this side to hold the tail. So but I'll I'll do that when I get there. So we are going to keep on with a garter stitch until we have fifty eight inches in total from the beginning. Okay, I have my 58 inches long or my tie and the last two rows what I want to do is that the first one I just want to pass as if to knit and keep knitting the rest. So like that we don't have wobbly edges. So let's see and knit and then next row we pass as if to knit and we knit the whole row there we go much better and now on this row we want to bind off so we pass the first one as if to knit and we bind off. There we go. And then we can weave in our ends. Okay, 
we're almost there. And this is the last one. There we go, and I already cut my yarn. And pass that one over. Okay. So now I can get my needle, my sewing needle. It's a tapestry needle and weave in the ends of your tie so it doesn't show. There we go. Let's see if I can if you can see what I'm doing. Just pass it through and then you can cut your yarn. There we go. So like that you have a nicely rounded edge. Okay, so now what you want to do is that you, I, I uh, did 11 chains and 10 single crochets going and 10 single crochets coming back so that I can put it in the back of my tie, my tie to hold it and like that I can have a yarn on each side or you can put a piece of ribbon or lace and you know you tuck it in and sew it and that looks nice also. So I'm going to have Anna take uh, post some pictures. I'm going to take the pictures and she can post them and you can see what it looks like. And thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. Thank you.